it's been a long day. I'll say that. It's been a hot day, but I've only actually done one thing, and that was I went to Ikea and bought a green screen so that I could put it in my studio. I say that. This is actually just the only green blind that Ikea sells, and this is an old filing room that my dad let me use. I say that. There's still files in here, so it is a current filing room that I'm in. Um, but anyway, I need a gratuitous reason to use my green screen. So, right, eight years ago, in 2010, KSE released the Double Down back in the US. Back as if I've been there. I've not really. I've been. I've been, I've been Back is not the right word to use. Over in the US, KFC released the Double Down. And word of mouth and the media suggested that this was going to be just the end of days for your digestive system. Um, and they'd made this burger where instead of buns, they had chicken. And minds were blown and sensibilities were outraged. Um, and then just seven years later, it came to Britain. And it came with the requisite fanfare and then immediate disappointment. And I was disappointed because it was this. And this is not a burger. A slice of bacon and a slice of processed cheese does not a burger make. It makes a pretty pathetic sandwich. If this were just between bread, you'd say this is a pretty pathetic sandwich. And actually, on that note, I'm not sure I believe all the hype about bacon. You know, people keep going on about it being some sort of wonder food that's going to cure veganism. Blah, 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 blah. And actually, it's it's too expensive. And, like, the amount that you get in a burger or in a sandwich, or it's just not enough. It, it adds an, an accent of flavour, but you never get enough for it to be the centrepiece of a meal unless you're doing some sort of spectacle, which the double down should be. But the double down is not, because, once again, it is this. So, when I got wind that the Double Down was coming back to the UK, and by that I mean it was already back in the UK, and somehow people were excited about it again, and actually buying it and eating it, and telling people that it was exciting, because apparently they're the kind of people that really succumb to propaganda, and just like really blatant propaganda, you know, like not even subtle propaganda, this is just KFC has told you it is good, so you believe it is good. But anyway, I decided I'm not just going to complain, I am going to fix it. So that's what I did. Now, I was thinking about, like, what could I get to put in it? Do I need to put a bit of original recipe chicken? Do I need to buy some other... I thought many things, and all of them were silly, because we already know what the best KFC burger is, so I just got the best KFC burger, and we're just going to put that inside it. So, of course, we have to remove the filthy, dirty buns. I didn't really think this through, so instead of using a knife, I'm using a chicken to scrape the lettuce and sauce off the filthy, dirty bun. And there you go. You've got yourself a Zinger Tower Double Down, which is very much a Zinger Tower burger, but instead of buns, it's got chicken. And on top of that, it's got bacon, it's got extra cheese, and it's got barbecue sauce, so you now have three sauces in your burger, which already has three bits of chicken in it as well. It's, it's triple everything, apart from the bacon. The cheese is only double as well. But there we go. You're welcome. So you might be impressed by this, but you shouldn't be, because most pubs serve a burger that's worse than this in 
many ways. So it shouldn't be any surprise that I then ate this because, you know, I've bought all this burger and of course I'm going to eat this. You know, there's probably people on low carb diets that think this is actually a sensible burger to eat anyway. So there we go. This is now a, a, a health food channel apparently. Right now, this process will take longer than anybody watching this video should be willing to wait. So let's just... And then all that's left is to disregard the remaining buns because they're filthy and dirty and clean up. Don't worry, kids in Ethiopia won't mind because the Ethiopian famine ended in 1985 and those buns had no nutritional value anyway. Buns are another scam food alongside bacon, so don't believe the bun hype sheeple. Here, I appear to have not been supplied with cleaning supplies, which are really the whole point of a KFC, so how could they not? So I went looking for a table with supplies and not finding one, realised they must have been in the takeaway bag all along because I'm an idiot. So there we go. Was the Zinger Tower Burger amazing? So there's a reason I don't do food reviews, and it's mostly because I don't really care about food. So let's put it this way. If you like the Zinger Tower Burger, but you thought the Zinger Tower Burger had too much bun and not enough chicken, this is the burger for you. If, however, you think meat is murder, you should steer clear of this particular burger. Should you fall anywhere in between, it's fine, um, but probably too expensive considering it's the price of two KFC burgers and or one KFC burger at a service station. So not worth it from that point of view. I really only did one thing and that was go to Ikea. It's been a long time.